Greetings to you, my trading friends. In today's how-to video, we're gonna take a look at how to use GTC or good till cancel orders as a way to set them and forget them so that you can profit on your terms. So if you're interested in learning how to use this special order type so that you can sort of take your hands off the wheel and maybe take a little bit of a cruise control knowing that if you have a mechanic that you'd like to trade by, your profits can be taken without you being at the wheel, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on in to the platform, Thinkorswim, so that we can show you how to do this. Hi everybody, my name is Neil and this is Option Theory. I wanna thank you so much for joining us today. I know in our normal videos, we put new trades on, uh, but today, we're going to, like I said, we're gonna cover the good till cancel order. So on screen, you can see the portfolio that we've put together so far. Uh, and I have categories or groups turned on right now. And what I wanna do just quickly is wasn't part of the process here is MJ is a trade that doesn't belong in this unallocated. This is an undefined risk in the sense that it's a naked put. So I'm just gonna right click this, choose move to group and put this in the undefined risk. So there's MJ and it was a short put. It has worked against us, but let's say that, you know, I know for me in particular, I like to set, you know, alerts and good till cancel orders, particularly on my undefined risk trades. If they work out for me, I want to get in, get out of them at my desired level of profit, right? And for us here, we typically follow the tasty trade approach because four days a week, we on a normal trading week, we do four cherry bomb trades that we get from tasty trade. So if you're new here, down in the description, you'll you'll find a link to sign up for those cherry bomb trades, but you could also you know, hit that subscribe button and join us as we do those, uh, you know, four days a week. And on Mondays, we like to do viewer either questions now or viewer suggested trade ideas or an underlying. So I have a couple of things. I know somebody asked me, asked me want, they wanted me to look at Baba. So maybe I'll be able to squeak in two videos today. Anyway, let's move right along here, MJ. So MJ, if we go back and we look at our account statement, we can see that we opened up this trade on the 15th. We sold a put at the 19th strike for $1.10. So the mechanic of taking this off at 50% would mean we'd wanna be able to buy this back for 55 cents, right? So here's how we'll, simply we're gonna do this. We're gonna go back to our activity and position. I'm gonna go ahead and right click MJ and I'm gonna choose analyze closing trade and buy it for $1.40. That's not really what I wanna do, right? So I'm gonna change this to a dollar, uh, sorry, to 55 cents, because that would be uh, the 50% of the maximum profit, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and now that I've got this to buy back my 119 put, 19 strike, right? I'm gonna right click this trade, choose confirm and send, and you'll see here that uh, we're at a standard day order, right? So that's not what we want. We're looking for, where'd you go? Normally, I get the option to determine this. Hang on. There it is. Good till canceled. Silly me for missing that one. There it is. There's your GTC. Uh, I thought it would also give you that option on the confirm and send screen. So. My mistake, look at that. So if you like the fact that we all learn together and I'm not some pro who does this all the time, right? And just has, I could fly this plane blind. <laughs> this is what we do here, right? Sometimes seeing the mistakes. Mistakes are part of the learning process, my friends. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm and send. We'll see now that uh, we have the maximum profit, I, you know, don't worry about these numbers. We know that we would be closing this trade. This is treating it like it is a, um, a new trade. We go ahead and hit send, right? We'll see that that is in our working orders right here to buy this back good till canceled for 55 cents, right? Uh, no one's gonna wanna sell this for 55 cents right now because it's worth $1.40. So as soon as it becomes you know worth 55 cents and, and uh, there's enough liquidity, this order will close. Let's just do this again, because uh, clearly you can see I could use a little practice as well too. And uh, here is a TLT trade, right? So if we go and we look back at our account statement, we opened up a TLT trade, which was a long uh, call vertical, $2 wide. 
we paid a dollar for it. So that means we could make a dollar, right? Or a hundred bucks. So we're looking to close this if it's worth 50 cents more. So in this case, we wanna be able to sell this for a dollar 50. So I'm gonna go ahead. I wonder, could I, I can create, analyze the trade. I can create the opposite order. Hmm. All right, that's one way to potentially do it. But I'm gonna go over here and choose uh, analyze closing trade. I don't wanna sell the vertical for 93 cents. Okay, what I want to do is want to sell it for, we said $1.50, right? So let's go ahead and type in $1.50. $1.50 sounds good to me. Right click this and choose. So there's no way to actually set the GTC here in this one. So let's look at it just a slightly different way. Go over here and instead of choosing analyze closing trade, let's just create closing order. Okay. So now that's the easier way to do it. Everybody, dollar fifty. Change it from day to GTC, and uh, yeah, there we go. So we would be able to buy this, uh, no, sell this. We'd be selling it, right, uh, for a dollar fifty. Gonna go ahead and hit confirm and send, and then gonna hit send again. And now we have two trades that are set to pull off when we reach our profit that we specify in our mechanics. So that's a GC, GTC, good till cancel order, set them, forget them, and uh, be able to take profit on your terms. So I hope this helps you, Jazzman, and the rest of my viewers that stumble upon this video. I do appreciate each and every one of your views. So if you've made it this far into the video, this is where I like to give my viewers their thumbs up, because even though I don't have a button to click for you, I'm, I'm giving you a real thumbs up. There it is. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your subscriptions, your comments. It's always great to hear from you. Remember, I am still a small channel and I intend to stay the kind, of, the kind of channel that will respond to you. And I thank you very much for, for being here. All right. Until my next video, everyone, happy trading.